In this video, you're going to see how to tie an alpine butterfly knot as a hitch and secure a continuous sheet line to the clue of a jib. First, I'll show an example on how to tie a butterfly knot using a classical method. I'll form a bite in the line, twist this bite once, and then twice, grab the tip of the bite and bring it over to the other side of the line. Now separate the line between the twists so it forms a small loop. Grab the tip of the bite, pass it under the line and up through the small loop. I'll tighten the knot so you can see how this will form a good foot loop in a vertical climbing line. And this is exactly what this knot and loop was developed for. So now we know how to tie a butterfly knot to make a loop. But how can it be tied as a hitch? I'm using a grommet corner from an old tarp to demonstrate how to do this. First I'll untie this loop. Pass an end of the line through the grommet. Pull the line through and center the line. I'll take the right hand of the line and pass it under and around the two sides of the line and tie a simple granny knot. Leave the granny knot open. Take the left end of the line and pass it under and up through the open loop of the granny knot. Now I'll pass the left end of the line down through the new loop formed. And pull the knot tight. And now you, how you can see how this would make a good hitch for a jib sheet line. the star starboard sheet coming out the starboard side and the port sheet coming out the port side. Now I'm ready to tie a new sheet to the jib, jib of my boat. I've picked a nice windless day to attach the new sheet to my jib. I left the old starboard sheet attached so it'll hold the clue steady. I've passed the starboard end of the line through the clue grommet. Now I'm pulling the line through until I reach the midpoint of the line. I marked the uh, midpoint of, with some blue masking tape so I know when I'm there. Now that I've reached the midpoint, I'll pass the starboard end of the line under and around the line as it comes out of the clue and make a loop to tie that simple granny knot. just pull up the slack through this loop here and you'll be able to see that granny knot. Again I'll leave the loop of the granny knot open. Now I'll retrieve the end of the port, port line It'll be here any day now. I'll pass the port end of the line under and up through 
the loop with the granny knot. Now I'll pass the end of the line down through the new loop I formed. You won't be able to see this loop until I pull all the slack out. But believe me, it'll be there. coming. There we go. Now I'll tighten the knot and center the line. And now you have a continuous sheet line secured by a butterfly hitch. realize as I was tying this hitch there may be an easy way to do it. I'll demonstrate that when I get back to my workbench. Okay, back at my workbench to practice tying a butterfly hitch in a different way. Pass the line through the grommet of that little corner piece of tarp that I have. This time I'm tying a granny knot in the right side of the line only. Now I'll open the loop in the granny and tilt it slightly. I'll pinch a bite in the left side of the line and pass this bite down through the loop of the granny knot so that this forms a small loop. Now take the left end of the line and pass it under and around the lines. I'm going to pass this left end down through this new loop, but first I'll tighten that granny knot. Pass the left end down through the new loop and tighten the knot. And now we have a butterfly hitch tied a different way. Now I know the butterfly knot has been around a long time, but this may be the first time a butterfly hitch has been tied. Well, anyway, you may have seen it here first.